This video overviews the process of how to get started using the Acorn Toolkit as a new user. I've intentionally kept the video concise and focused on the basics, so if you have any questions, please feel free to ask us. This video is the first of two, and it focuses on getting data into the toolkit, whereas the second video focuses on making sense of your data. Log into the toolkit. The first thing you'll see when you log in for the first time is the help page. You will only be routed here for the first five times you log in. After that, you'll be taken to the main toolkit page, which is generally where you'll want to go to look up your outcomes once you have data in the toolkit. If you'd like to visit this page after the first five logins, simply click on the Home drop-down menu. Assuming you're a first-time user of the toolkit, your first priority will be submitting data so that you can begin measuring your outcomes. How you submit is up to you or your organization. Options generally include printing forms then faxing them to our data center, submitting electronically using online PDF forms with Adobe Reader, or submitting electronically using HTML mobile forms. Whatever your method of form delivery, we recommend administering the form just before each session and then using the form in conjunction with your session. As therapists, we form undeniably strong bonds with our patients. We genuinely care about them, believe in them, and hope for the best for them, which can have the unfortunate side effect of overestimating how a client may be doing. Even spending just a few moments to glance over the patient's answers and address any possible concerns at the beginning of each session will already give you a very important unbiased snapshot of how they feel their overall health is, which can often provide insights that you might have otherwise missed. Here, on the introductory screen, you'll see more details that explain each of the methods of submission in greater detail. Generally speaking, the toolkit will pre-populate most of the important clinical fields onto the form for you. If you have access to multiple sites or orgs, you'll need to select which one you intend to create the form for, rather than just leaving it set to All. If your organization uses site IDs, make sure that you know your site ID and that you're using it. If your organization does not have site IDs, you don't need to worry about that field. Client ID is left up to you, or your organization, to populate, and as with other fields, it generally needs to fit the following criteria. It must be a unique ID number within your org. If you're using the same client IDs as another clinician, the toolkit will assume that that patient has changed counselors and is now seeing you. ID fields must be 1 to 10 digits long, all numeric characters, and any leading zeros are going to be dropped. Select the desired form and press the Submit button. This will create a hyperlink that you can use to access your form, which you can use to begin submitting data. You may choose to begin submitting with client registrations. If you do, know that you probably won't be able to see them in your toolkit until you begin submitting outcomes questionnaires as well. Client registrations will provide the toolkit with important data, but they are not mandatory. Once your data has populated into your toolkit, check out the continuation of this video here, which will help you make sense of what you're able to see in the toolkit.